All right, y'all, we are rolling out early this morning. As you can see, uh, this will be more of just a listening video, like a podcast, because, uh, like I said, it's kind of dark in here, but anyway, it's like 5 o'clock in the morning. I rolled out at about 3.30 this morning to grab a load to come up here and get it out of the way. Uh, as y'all know, I haven't been on uh, YouTube very much, uh, especially not with the main channel. Uh, I figured since I've been working so much and doing so much with the logging and trucking, I'd start a separate channel for that. Uh, so I know everybody's not into that. But uh, if you want to check that out, uh, you know, feel free to do so. It's a uh, six shooter logging and trucking or trucking and logging. One or two. I can't exactly remember. But uh, it's in the community section here. But anyway. We're rolling out again. Uh, just spread all of my time and focus has been on this, you know, getting the trucking business established and, you know, making more money and doing things like that. It's took away a lot of my time from the farming aspect. Uh, but hopefully, you know, we can get everything evened out. So, uh, Sunday after church, I was trying to get some hay cut. I know I'm, uh, probably a month later than everybody else, but that's just how it falls. But it's, uh, you know, the field that I'm cutting, the guy lets me cut, you know, for free. So you can't beat that. Uh, back in the spring, it wasn't hardly anything out of there. We cut the whole field. It was, it's a big field. It's probably, I don't know, 50 acres or so, but we only got like 25 bales out of the whole field. Now, uh, the other week, I cut and baled probably a third of the field and, uh, got 41 bales out of it. So, I mean, it's, probably triple what I got in the uh, spring <clears throat> but that comes with the fact of it being so tall and thick I mean as tall as a tractor tire it is uh, very hard to cut with my old hay mower and that old Master Ferguson tractor I'm in first gear and it's still you know pretty much all it wants to do uh, first gear is a little too slow, second gear is too fast, you know how that goes. But, uh, anyway, it was just a disaster of a day Sunday. Uh, the chain came off several times that turns the reel on it to, you know, rakes the hay in to cut. And that is something that's never happened before. You know, this is a cutter my dad had, you know, I've used for years before. And we've never had a chain come off. And it come off probably every round or two in that real thick stuff because it was so thick. I mean, the sprocket's half wore out. But, you know, again, it hadn't been a problem until you got to that real thick hay. Uh, a couple of the teeth were broke. I hadn't had time to replace them. Some of the guides came loose. I was able to tighten up two or three of them. One of them, uh, the bolts was just stripped out and I couldn't do anything with it. So I had to go get a grinder and just cut the bolts and just take that guide off there, you know. And it ended up, uh, you know, raining on me. It come a little bit of rain here and there, a little showers at a time. And, uh, I was trying to cut it at night because it didn't get dark. I'd been cut for six or seven hours and probably hadn't cut an acre. And, uh, it ended up that the arm that comes out of the bottom of the gearbox that connects to the sickle bar, the arm broke on it. And, uh, you know, it shut me down and, uh, it's supposed to be one coming in Thursday. But anyway, say that, say this, uh, we're doing some updates. We are, you know, Time to step up a little bit more. We are, uh, I bought a disc mower, uh, the kind that just mounts to a three point hitch, you know, not a 
a whole big vine just to mow her. It, uh, it's pretty much the same thing as the old sickle bar mowers where it just sits behind the tractor and you let it out and you cut your hay. Uh, this is pretty much the same thing just in disc mower form. Uh, this is a Kubota five foot cut, five foot some inch, I don't remember. The reason I got that is uh, it was a little bit cheaper, which is really expensive for, uh, you know, no wider of a cut than it is in my opinion, but it's a brand name. They had it in stock. Uh, that was Monday, and it's supposed to be ready to pick up sometime tomorrow. Or later today, rather. But, uh, anyway, so I went with that. I think that's going to make it a lot easier. Uh, again, the vine I got now is a nine foot cut, and we'll be going down to a five. So, basically, two swipes to that one. But, uh, I've never used one of these, but I see a lot of people got them now, and a lot of positive reviews. And, I mean, just being able to throw it on. Uh, well, there's a lot of maintenance. There's no tires to deal with, no chains, no rails, no you know, reels, and, you know, all these things that have to work. You just uh, hook it up, and it's got one hydraulic line on it to let it up and down with, and just start mowing. Another thing, uh, you know, the, this mower works better in, like, wet than the sickle bar. So if it's got a little rain on it or at night or something, it's not a problem for it. Also, uh, not pulling a bind around just on the side of the tractor. Pretty much anybody can do it. If I got somebody that can help me, uh, my buddy O1 Livestock or uh, my wife or anything like that, should be able to do it with no problem because, you know, it's, some of the binds, the one I've got now really ain't that bad. But uh, we had a Heston uh, hay mower when I was a kid, and it had like a real short drive shaft on it, of, you know, coming out of the tractor where it slides in and out when you turn. Uh, it was a very short, and if you went you turn too sharp, which we've had some people, well, my, you know, before I was big enough to do it, well, my dad needed help, you know, it was a couple, you know, retired guys and stuff like that wanted something to do. And uh, he would let them cut the hay some. And just about every time they did, they would turn it too sharp one way. You could turn it to the left, you know, a backwards circle as far as you wanted to. But if you turn it to the right too much, it'll bind together. And it ends up pushing the bearing out of the, you know, front of the, the mower and the drive shaft there. And uh, we had to deal with that and replace that thing I don't know how many times from my... Uh, people turning too sharp and tearing it out. But like I said, uh, this, this mower is just going on the hitch, letting it down and mowing. It's, it's basically just like using a bush hog, you know, just get on there and go. Another thing too, uh, I went to John Deere to start with because I like dealing with them, but uh, they didn't have one. They can get one, of course, and it would have been a little bit cheaper than the Kubota. But they're not exactly sure when they would get it. Uh, you know, it could be a week, could be three weeks, could be three months, could be six months. And I said, you know, I'm, it's almost winter. I've got some hay on the ground. The rest of it needs to be on the ground. You know, I'm just going to go with the Kubota because it's in stock. Uh, sometimes a bird in the hands worth two in the bush. But John Deere does have a tractor up there I like. And it will be big enough to pull the baler, uh, you know, either one of the hay cutters and stuff like that. It's uh, a bigger one. It's a four series. It's the 4066M, uh, you know, a little beefier than what I've got. And uh, I'm going to end up trading mine for it uh, later today. Uh all the paperwork and stuff has been approved, and all I got to do is go up there and swap out. Only problem is, is it doesn't have the hydraulic remotes on the back, which mine didn't when I bought it. I had to put them on there. And, of course, the ones for that tractor are on back order. Who didn't see that coming? Uh, so I plan on being able to cut hay with it 
with that new mower. Uh, like I said, the hydraulic, you only use it to fold it up and down and transport it so I can, uh, you know, take it over, unload it, whatever I need to do with my other tractor, the Master Ferguson, and, uh, you know, let it out and then just unhook it and hook to this one and uh, then just go with it. Uh, I'll probably have to bail hay this time with the uh, Master Ferguson steel. Uh, because it probably won't, you know, be able to get the remotes on by the time I bail. So, but either way, uh, I'm going to do a video uh, later on of the, you know, basically comparison and why we traded it and all that. And uh, it kind of just sums it up. I got that tractor because it was the perfect size for what we were doing at the time. When I bought that tractor, we wasn't cutting and baling our own hay. We was just, uh, you know, buying it from somebody and moving round bales over to the field. And, you know, basically just doing around the homestead, the garden, and, you know, moving manure around, compost, things like that. But, uh, you know, now our needs have changed. And honestly, I've been looking on Facebook and, you know, Craigslist, stuff like that. And they've got like 1980, 1990 John Deere's with, you know, God knows how many hours on it with a loader on it that doesn't have any of the quick hitch stuff. It's just kind of got, you know, the old pinned on buckets and they're still, you know, 15,000 on the cheap end up 25, 30,000. So why am I going to pay that much for something that old when I can just go on for, you know, a little bit more and get a brand new one with a five-year powertrain warranty and, you know, better features. The uh, being able to, you know, the quick attach bucket and stuff where I've got the pallet forks and I've got the spear and all that for my other one, it'll still fit the 4 Series. Uh... It's got, you know, more gear ranges because this has got three ranges in it. It's a 12 by 12 power reversal transmission. And, uh, you know, to me, it's just a better option. Plus, I don't have 20000 laying around in cold, hard cash to go buy one of these from somebody. So, you know, John, John Deere finances. So that, that makes a difference to us, too. But... Anyway, uh, just kind of letting y'all know what's going on, and hopefully I'll have some videos out soon. I did, uh, you know, take some videos the other day of cutting the hay Sunday, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to roll that into a video with the new mower, and, uh, you know, hopefully how much better the new mower cuts, but anyway... I hope everybody's been doing good. We've been doing pretty good, just staying extremely busy. Uh, you know, trying to build up the business and build up some money and be able to upgrade to better things and all that. But that's about all I got for this one. Stay prayed up, prepped up, and strapped up. See ya.